We've built our uh, ISO for Arch Linux D. It's uh, grown to 1.2 gigabytes already without us doing anything. It's just Arch Linux that grows. 19.12.10 is the release. We've built it. We can test it. And it's going to look different. Hence the video. So we're going to go to the Arch Linux D out. It has a specific folder where it, it's going to be put. And we have this version, 1912.10. Always check the date. 7 o'clock 53. Okay, five minutes ago. And then we're going to launch our newest Arch Linux D. This all still looks normal. You choose the line that's best for you, for your hardware. First line often is just okay. So first try the first line. Then we use Calamares, uh, version 3.2.16, I think it is, let's see. And of course we use our own configuration, we've made new modules at this point in time, November 2019. In this case we can uh, also install the NVIDIA drivers and the LTS kernel, so the Linux kernel. There are several versions of it and LTS is the long term support. So it's 3.2.16. We've made a new um, well, slides to um, show you what Arch Linux is all about. It's always the same. You choose the language you want to uh, look at. I mean, this is all in English, but also afterwards, when you uh, want to install XSE, for instance, and I want to install it in Dutch, you can choose it here on any other language. And there you go for next. This is new. So, there is um, something you need to know. When you touch this thing, it's going to install the NVIDIA driver and everything that it needs for an NVIDIA uh, capable system. There is also called something called NVIDIA 390. It's not going to be installed. It's just one choice. All the people that require NVIDIA will get it. But do not touch it if you do not need it. Because there's still a little bug in here and otherwise you'll have to reboot, which is Ctrl T in a terminal, PK execute, PK exec, calamars. So don't need it, don't touch it. That's the advice at this point in time, November 2019. Then the next choice is, do you want to have a Linux kernel? And actually it's pretty much the same advice. If you don't need the kernel, don't touch it. Don't go selecting it, because afterwards you'll have a Linux LTS kernel. And if you don't need it, you don't need it, right? So, same goes here, you choose what you want. And then of course, if the server is working, then we get the right pin, and otherwise you choose from here or here, or just click where you need your time zone to be. You choose maybe some other languages here, system language, change, and the other one as well for the numbers and the date. And go for next. Here everything is, uh, is still the same. So you choose your keyboard, which is Azerti in my case. Next. And then it's up to you if you want to install alongside something. So you say, okay, I want to install alongside this guy. Or I'm going to replace a particular partition or erase. So I always use erase and no swap. So simple. One thing, one OS on one SSD. Simple. Next. This is also new. I've uh, I've seen it a lot, of course, these days. But you don't. So this is uh, three point two point sixteen, and this is something new. What is your name? All right. Just typing Eric here, and then we are going to type Arco Linux D. like so and that's my choice of course you choose something else you choose an extra password for your root account that's okay and then next and another next install and everything is going to be installed now things sometimes go wrong in here this phase now it's finished there's no danger anymore but in this phase here when the partitions are being created it sometimes gets stuck and then you need to um, go to Gparted, so Ctrl-Alt-T and start your Gparted and if Ctrl-Alt-T is not working 
you go to the terminal or like this or like that and like that there's also always a way on your uh, live dvd to get to a terminal and then you say you are going to this is an article links d so it's a minimal we don't have all these packages that we normally have huh? this is you have to tell them hey guys termites okay so here you have this uh, possibility to say okay let's go to cheap market and fix this thing so only if you have issues there is a big big long file all about calamares on articlelinks.com everything you want to know about calamares is the title on articlelinks.com we have even a category in the menus just about calamares so go and get our knowledge and uh, become smarter in using calamares so at this point in time <coughs> he's going to fill up the file system we have requested on github that the slider goes a little bit faster so that we don't think it's getting stuck or anything so it's a very long wait and for Arcmix D it's a not so long wait but for the Arcmix B guys for plasma for instance it takes a long while until we see something move in the percentages but it is busy it is working so don't think it's crashing because on older hardware it probably is going to take even longer right we're going to restart going to choose to put from hard disk or ssd in this case virtualbox and this is your arcon links d thing it's black it has the capability of becoming anything you want so you log in and you see already you're on Arc Linux D 1912.10. Great. Um, there is nothing available. There's no Firefox, no Vivaldi, no LightDM, no Plasma, no XFC, nothing. It's all up to you to do some things here. Now, there are two things you can do prior to anything else. That's if you're new, first check out all our aliases. They're so interesting, right? Very efficient. And one of them is, well, update your system. That's one thing you should do. Of course, after a clean build, like five minutes ago, there's nothing to update. And up all, after the update, is going to get anything from AOR, but there's no, not too much on Arclinks D. So nothing there as well. And another thing I recommend you do is a mirror. This is it's going to check, going to find out What's the fastest Arch Linux server in your neighborhood? So you'll wait. He's going to ping in everything, measure everything. Here are the measurements, the rates, and he's going to order it. And the fastest is at the top. I think that's going to be Arch Linux mail tunnel. You see more or less in the middle, 3,300. Yeah, that's the biggest, I think. So anyway, everything is installed. It's now up to us to do our stuff, right? Sudo, pacman, and you go ahead and install elements you like on your system. 